2023. Hero Quest fans reporting not live. That's where the action happens. All D. See them already. Sorry, guys. Mind if I do? your question? Oh, wow. This is like Mortal Kombat or something. Very nice. You might have just got your swag here. Oh, that's pretty cool. So yeah, you can win these dice. Daredevil dice set. So something that was long rumored. It's actually like rainbow dice. So I don't know, that must be a limited thing. <laughs>
experimental styles. Okay. No, actually, it's going to go for three cell power. Yep. Spring Liss Inferno yep. is an action yep. inflict one body point uh, of damage to one adjacent to enemy. The target so takes every other two body points of damage yeah. at the end of his next turn. If you use the elemental style, fire success. Awesome. Yep. Cool, man. Okay. Thank you. All right. Joking with this. This adventure design kit. These actually are the right size. To actually cut them out and use them. The only thing is there is only one of each. There are multiples. So if you were actually gonna cut them out and paste them, it probably wouldn't work. Unless you cut out multiple pages, but you could just use that as a guide to draw it. a little tube. You can put your dice in there. And I guess you're supposed to roll it on this stuff. It's kind of a microfibery kind of surface. Dice rolling scroll. So the guys at Avalon Hill were nice enough to provide a couple samples here for us. So we got two of those and we got the Set. Those dice are really deeply inscribed. It's got colors. I guess these are dice seconds that they provided. So these are uh, frozen horror dice. Just handing these out. That's pretty cool of them. Who doesn't want extra dice, you know? Same values as before. Wisdom and discipline. Shattered mirror. There's the dead moon. There's the uh, elemental styles. Element styles. Never did find out what happened to Sinestra, but according to the designer of the quest, Tess was telling us that uh, that's up to you to decide. Step on any toes. And all their cool boxes they're selling. Free gift. Out of stock for today. Uh, well, I got mine. Sold out. Betrayal at Hill House. Rise of the Dread Moon. The official uh, in Carmine unboxing. Yeah, the indestructible packaging. That's what that, that's what we want to see. Yeah. Inspector Retro, GM. Like three of 
Inspector Retro snagged himself an Avalon Hill shirt. And hey. Awesome, thank you. So that's Chris Nato. He just handed him a game box. You don't know what's going to happen. When they're done, let him take that home. Sweet. Since we know it's a gift, now we're not going to rip it apart. We're just going to. Yeah, that is super cool. So it has it has little uh, reusable. is the same. It's All right. just so what do you guys know about the Super fans, I have like four copies of this game at home. <laughs> the different years. These cards show you what you can do on your turn. But the simplistic version is on your turn, you can each move and then do an action. On here, are, there's a list of six different actions that you can do. Um, they're generally attack and or search for something. Um, the other, there's the two others are casting spells and there's disarming effects. It's all written right there. Do you have to be a certain class to do the disarming traps, or is that available to anybody? start? You do. Okay. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll go over that. Sure. Okay. There are four starting characters. There's no classes in Hero Quest. Everything is uh, essentially a pre-made character. Um, the default, the original four, are the barbarian, uh, who's your your mainline fighter. Uh, he has the most health. It's okay if it tears a little bit. Any other way so even if other characters get tools to be able to disarm traps, the dwarf is still way better. The elf is kind of like a fighter and a uh, magic. Uh, and then the wizard is a so, so he's a hybrid from roughly that direction? Uh, or more than more this direction. The dwarf is basically like the barbarian. I don't 
know them that well. But, Fair enough. but no, actually, the, the people that are in charge of the game now are they're really passionate about it. Um, they were all fans of the game that happened to be working at a gaming company. And they they, were, they pushed the people like that were at the top of the company to bring the game back. And, uh, and they're just all super passionate about it. They all love the game. So it's, it's really like talking to them. Like, I've been here all weekend. And look at this. Open. Talking to so them, like hide stuff in there. Them all kinds of like really you got questions skulls. about stuff that most people would never care rats. about regarding the game. Sure. Um, oh, he's asked you for that. Yeah, the go ahead. I didn't know he had. Yeah. Him. Okay. He asked me to help him. All right. Sounds good. My bad. So the first adventure in the game is is uh, is difficult. I'm going to run that instead of running what they've been running for everybody else at the con because that uses an expansion, okay. um, which they haven't given us. So. Uh, Do you level up after you play it, like a game or within? I know there's 10 different scenarios in the book. There are 14 oh, scenarios. for him. Thank you. Okay, cool. Um, and then all the expansions have 10 additional quests. Do you level up in any of that process? No. Okay. Leveling up, if, if I may, sorry. <laughs> Leveling up is more like you buy new equipment. So new weapons, okay, new so armor. You get some perk for having to press. Yeah. Oh, okay. so. Now, after a while, you start to make up your own rules with the game. So people have it created leveling systems. If you would like, if you guys want to, you can punch but, all these out. Perfect. Perfect. Um, yeah, and then yeah, to nice, neat little piles, that'd be great. Oh, there's more card bar. Yeah, so you, as you adventure, you're going to defeat monsters, you're going to search for treasure, you're going to find items and gold. You're going to find some of these. Um, and Artifacts. The, the game comes with a, a set treasure deck. So if you search, every character throughout the course of an adventure is allowed to search every room that you go into. These are like some of the things you can find so in the later guys, adventures. He just said, any room you go in, you can search the room, which is like the roleplay standard. First thing, the, when the game master asks you what you can do in the new room, you say search, right? Yeah, so when, when so. you search, you're going to search for one of three things, either okay. treasure, traps, or secret doors. Okay. All right? When you search, you find everything that's in the room. Okay. So some rooms have specific things assigned to them in the, in the quest book. Okay. Um, so you might find like a specific weapon or a specific potion or gold and, and something. Um, if there's nothing denoted in the book that's specific to a room, then you draw a card off of the, the treasure deck. There are good and bad cards in the treasure deck. When you pull a good card, you take that card, you put it in front of you. When you pull a bad card, I put it back in the deck and then I shuffle it. So will it be pretty clear what's good and bad? Very good. Yeah. Everything, pretty much everything is super self-explanatory. Um, and if you have questions, like if there's anything that you feel is ambiguous, whoever is playing the role of Zargon, you can just do, decide whatever you want to keep the game. Um, there's no wrong answers. Hero Quest is, is, is designed to be simplistic enough that if something comes up, you can make it up on the fly. You can add things however you want. Ad living is great. Are, you, you can do anything you want to modify the game to make it more. So, and the book, the uh, the quest book, even like the back, and there's better there's better tools than this on the internet. But there's a, a blank map with all the make items. your own. You can photocopy this, um, and and the kids can make their own quests. They can do whatever they want. They They did change it. Metal. Yeah. I didn't realize. I think you even I didn't realize they changed it in this in, in this the box. box. Yeah. He just unwrapped it. And it says metal. This is fixed. So how your turns work? The two red dice are your movement dice. When you're ready to move, you roll the two dice, and that tells you how far you can move up to. Oh, Avalon Bill just showed me this. This is Betrayal at Hill House, and look at these. This comes right off. So you could buy these games and you could use them for Hero Quest Mercenaries. Just saying. So you got the different ones. He used to practice his most unthinkable dread magics. Once you have defeated him, this was the game.
best look at Space Hulk. It's a fun game. I'm gonna have to learn that one. These wood panels. This game has been a lot of time on. Kill team. Full doors. Do you have a preference? Oh, I'm so sorry. Go ahead. Face off with a good guy. This is amazing setup. Giant figure. 